sides of two passenger coaches have been ripped off, miraculously without causing loss of life. Yarmouth, insofar as it depends on the herring industry, is facing disaster owing to the glut of fish. The hard work of the drifters is made a mockery as they come into port with heavy loads recently averaging as much as 80 crans or 96,000 herrings. With the price of 10 shillings a cran, this means that herrings are sold by the fishermen for 10 a penny, though the retail price is a penny or tuppence each. Drifters remain in port for days at a time under the stop fishing order which is a local form of restriction self-imposed by the industry in desperation. The gutting of this vast quantity of valuable fish would be a happy spectacle but for the fact that poor people cannot afford to buy the fish in the shops despite their cheapness on the quayside. The worst feature of the disastrous situation is that the bigger the catch is, the quicker ruin is being brought upon the fleet. A Chicago Safety First campaign shows you how not to take a quick right hand.